Hey Blender Bob here! You know at Real by Fake sometimes we deal with multi-million dollar projects and sometimes we deal with small ones. Well, here's one of them. So have you been able to spot the VFX? Of course not, because they're invisible effects. This is what we did. What we had to do was to change the doors for the new model. Now it looks like it doesn't match the rest of the car, but that's normal because the doors are made of matte plastic, not the shiny car paint color like the rest. We couldn't get access to the CAD data for the door, but they provided us with this turntable. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do some photogrammetry on this. So what a photogrammetry software does is you send it a lot of pictures and it's going to try to find the corresponding points from one picture to another. And it triangulates stuff and does some crazy math and tries to recreate a 3D object in the software, which is pretty cool. It works very well for organic stuff. For technical models, mm, not as good. So this is a result I got from the software. It's textured and everything, but the model is just unusable in production because it's crappy. But it's good enough for modeling, and especially with the door, because the door is a matte material, so it's easier to do. So this is the model I did on top. So you see, with the matte plastic material, and we have here the fabric here, with all the stitches and all the details, because some of the shots were very close up, so we didn't want to take any chances. We wanted to make sure we get all the information that we need. Then we needed to track the shots, so they were sent to India. Because in India, they are very, very good for tracking. They are the best in the world for tracking. Seriously guys, you need good tracking, you send it to India. So this is what they sent you back. They sent you a Maya file, an FBX file, and an image sequence with the wireframe on it to show you that it tracks very well. And then we did the lighting. Now you can see here, we see the back door, we see the inside, we don't need that stuff, we need to paint it out. Actually what we need to do is some roto to hide the parts that we don't want to see. This is a better example here where you can see that the door is in front of the guy where it should be behind. So what we need to do is to mask the guy. This is a little clip I did for my students a long time ago to show the roto what we can do with it. This is my daughter and I'm the crazy guy driving. So first I shot the car. No kid of course. Then I shot my little girl. Well that, <laughs> that doesn't sound right. I, I filmed my little girl. I was just outside the frame saying, hey come see daddy. And I combined them together. I did the roto. So that's the way you do it. It's just with curves like this and you just go around every part of the body. Now I told you that in India they're very good for tracking. They're also very very good for roto. I mean really good. And the thing is that they have big companies where people are just specialized doing this. So you may have 300 people in the same company doing roto. So they will put one person on the hand, one person on the arm, one person on the body, one person on the head. So they have multiple people working on the same footage and then they combine everything together. So that's why you have a very fast turnaround. So instead of having one person that tries to do the entire body, there may be 10 person working on the same shot. So it goes very, very fast. And just to tell you how good they are, we had a shot for the morning show for Apple Plus, Apple TV, Apple whatever. And uh, we had Jennifer Aniston walking the street in New York, but it's supposed to be Los Angeles. So we had to change the background, but it was not shot on a green screen. And we had her hair flowing in the hair, in the, her hair flowing in the air because of the wind. And they rotoed the hair. They rotoed the hair flowing in the wind. And we just put the mat, put the background, it just worked. Of course, not all the companies are good. Some are better, some are you know, not as good. But if you need some roto or tracking in India, contact me. I have some very, very good references for you. So you do the entire thing frame by frame. It takes forever. It's very long. 
and for each uh, of the curve you can decide the amount of blurriness you want on the edges and then you combine everything together and this is what you get. So I get my little girl here and I combine it with a plate and this is what I had so far. And that's the way it was done to get the guy passing in front of the door. Same thing here, it looks like the old guy is outside the car now because the door is in front of him so we had to put it behind him. Actually, I said we, but Real by Fake didn't do the compositing on these shots, it was the client, because the client is a compositing company. That was a fun little project that we had to work with, it was very nice to work with Jean-Marc again. Jean-Marc is the same guy who brought us the Northwell commercial, the link is right there, check it out if you haven't seen it. So Jean-Marc, Kias Collective, thank you very much, and Canam also for letting me use the footage, it's really appreciated. Hey, what is this? It's a butterfly with hiccups.